from the Seven Storm Team. Your first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Terry. 648 now. Again, we're looking at our weather watcher temperatures this morning. 73 in Overland, Moss Bluff, 71 in DeRitter and in Lake Arthur. We are at uh, right now, well, let's see the map. There we go. 75 degrees, 78 in Holly Beach this hour from Brenda Abshire. We only picked up a little bit of rain yesterday, not a whole lot there for her. And we had those amounts that did range from about a quarter of an inch closer to three quarters of an inch in spots. And those spotty downpours will be back what uh, comes to play with our forecast today, this afternoon across southwest Louisiana. Of course, dew points in the mid-70s, so it is rather humid. As we head through the day, the heat index will likely range from about 95 to 99. That's before we get those cooling showers. I do expect there to be a pretty good coverage of those back across southwest Louisiana this afternoon. Not much in the way of rain over land. There are some of these coastal showers which are uh, pushing a little closer to places like Holly Beach this morning, but generally speaking, that's just your normal activity that we see in the summertime. And we'll look for those to increase across our area this afternoon. The bigger picture here is showing high pressure to the east. That's been that subtropical ridge that's been bringing in uh, the uh, actual uh, southeasterly winds over, over our area, transporting in that deep tropical moisture in Yes, it's in place today, and that may what help. It may that is will be what helps lead to pretty good coverage there of afternoon storms back across our area. Future radar shows how things will pan out today. A couple of those near the coast this morning, then closer to the lunch hour, those temperatures warm up, highs in the upper 80s. And then we'll see boom those storms popping up across southwest Louisiana. Best chances from midday on through the early evening. It's just the same old story with our weather with how these storms pop up with about a 60% coverage expected for today. Here you go by afternoon, 87 at 2 o'clock and then dropping off the threat of rain as we head toward the evening. Uh, no big changes to our pattern. I think as we head toward Friday and Saturday, the only difference is at least in the short term, perhaps this weekend will be slightly less coverage of those daily storms. I think Saturday may be one of the days we see the lower chances of rain. By late Sunday, here comes the front end from the north and it's going to hang out here over central portions of the state as we head into Monday leading to an increased threat of rain early next week back up to about a 60 percent chance there on uh, Monday. Tropical storm Fiona in the far Atlantic this morning as winds of 45 miles per hour. It is moving there off toward the northwest and will be heading its way uh, toward uh, the open waters. Also one extra tropical wave here uh, as we head toward uh, the morning hours here. Nothing of concern now. The Hurricane Center not monitoring this area here. Very disorganized. We'll watch to see if this becomes anything, but at this point not expecting to see any sort of big time organization with that. Here's a track on Fiona carrying it Toward Bermuda by early next week. This will not be a threat to the Gulf of Mexico, so we remain tropical worry-free here close to home, and we'll try to keep it that way over the next several days. So rain chances stand tomorrow, mainly for those afternoon downpours, 60% chance there on Friday, and then dropping off a bit into the weekend before that front arrives, bringing more rain to the area late Sunday into Monday. You know, that 30% chance on Saturday looks pretty Still good. Still trying to keep it as yeah. low as possible. I can't yeah. guarantee it'll be dry all day, yeah. but I think we'll have a little less coverage of those uh, downpours like we've seen the past few days, which good have been timing. pretty much area-wide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, 651. There's